Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm a big student of history, and I study patterns. And on top of that, I think I have a little ESP, and it's telling me bad shit is afoot. Now, I just assembled this list. And about, I started about 10 minutes ago before we started this. I'm going to go down and read it for you here real quick. All right. Millions have crossed the border in the past four years. 350,000 illegals are flown around our country by the Biden administration. Mass amounts of Chinese and Africans are crossing the southern border, and I would argue the northern border. We had an election stolen while we all watched on TV. COVID pandemic has taken effect with a large portion of the world's population uh, given a vaccine that was not tested and has been proven to be very uh, damaging for lab rats and other animals tested in the past. Uh, we are prosecuting a former president. The U.S. military strength is in the toilet. Our ammo stockpile is nearly depleted. Many of our frontline Navy warships are non-deployable due to lack of personnel. The drug cartel is pushing drugs and people north at breakneck speed. Fentanyl, which is being made in China, is so powerful it is actually a chemical weapon. Our economy is collapsing. The youth of our country have been weakened to fecklessness. I was going to say useless, but feckless is worse. AI is now on station with all the fun and games in the future with that. Digital currency is on the horizon, and nobody asked for that either. We have a two-tier legal system. Check that. Three-tier legal system. You have uh, one that tier of that legal system is completely immune to virtually all laws. We have virus X in the works, gain of function labs all over the country to include our very own. They just changed the name to something else. Our alphabet ag agencies and police are now targeting U.S. citizens. All right. Now, I literally just wrote this down. I started like 10 minutes ago. This is just the stuff off the top of my head. And it should scare the absolute shit out of you because major muscle movements have been in the works, uh, I would say, roughly since the late 90s. Hey, Steve, what did you think of that list that I just read off? I would call it pretty accurate. Um, <clears throat> they're definitely coming across the northern border. That is now uh, the... Chinese tried to get across there the other day. I think it was in New York, and New York police sort of intercepted them, but they probably have been let go, and they're just moving about the country freely at this point. Michael Yan has seen camps down by Panama coming out of the Darien Gap that are just full-blown Chinese. It's all male war-age Chinese. The Africans that are coming across, we discussed this at length earlier in different episodes are Congolese and Senegalese who basically don't have anything resembling a conscience. So they'll just go machete happy. Mm -hmm. um, we're at full-blown treason at this point. I'm not even going to mince words anymore. It's is we are in a state of treason with this government. And it's time that people start saying it. I'm, I'm tired of pretending that it's not true. Yeah, so am I. And I've actually, we've been covering this with uh, Blake and I have been covering similar subjects for years. And uh, my gut is telling me that something big is coming down the pipe. Yeah. Because, th listen, they need to do their mental, uh, you know, magician bullshit because they know that the majority of this country does not like the administration as it stands now, and they want to make radical changes. Now, what that entails, if those radical changes happen, usually vaults get opened, Files get unsealed, information spills out into the you know the mainstream consciousness, and I think some of the shit they've been doing is so fucking egregious. They're absolutely terrified for it being released, and they're willing to burn this country and the world to the ground to keep those secrets hidden. Of course, this is just my opinion. <sighs> yeah, it's a. Uh, no, I'm I'm 110 percent in agreement with you. 
you and I were talking about it while I was driving up from uh, Detroit earlier. Um, there's something, something is wrong. And it's one of those things, Pop and I both have a fighter sense thing. We both know when something is off, but you can't really stick a name on it. You can just tell there's like this stillness when it sets off all of your highly tuned years and years of training sensors in the back of your neck. And uh, you could just feel that something is off, something is wrong. I think we're really, really close to a point like that right now. Yeah. I've got I've got a very bad feeling about this. Yep. I think he's right, Chewie. Turn this ship around. There was uh I just saw this uh super chat here from a uh, Berserker Brad 1983 yeah. uh, in uh, over here on Rumble for $15. Uh 2024 equals 1860. Big question is where is the 2024 version of Fort Sumter? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's that's, right. that's very good. <clears throat> that's very actually good really good. Now. Yeah. I've been tracking this for a while and uh the future the, the future possibilities are literally diminishing with each and every single day that passes by it's like doors are closing and it's leading us uh to the one big uh, kablammy at the end and uh i don't want that to happen but i am just one man and there's very little i can do other than uh, ring the warning bell if nobody wants to listen what can I do? There's nothing we can do. Yeah. It's I, my entire life up until about the last four years, I always thought that this would be a stronghold that somehow America would hold it together. But that started to shift to doubt when I watched Europe invaded and pop knew me then too. Well, we were, I was actually living at pop's house at the time. I think uh, I looked at that and said, it's coming here. Just don't know when or how, but it's definitely coming here. Correct. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box.